maximal or near maximal locomotion speeds pose a challenge for the central nervous system to preserve proper limb coordination in accordance with the task's demands. Control over the rapid alternating muscle relaxations and contractions turns out to be an important limiting factor affecting the frequency, smoothness, and effectiveness of locomotion. Fatigue resistance presents another important aspect of alternating the high-speed movements of extremities. A stamping test is performed in order to measure the speed and coordination of alternating leg or arm movements. Enter the stamping test module from the main window by clicking on the stamping button. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. As with the organization of all the MARS test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and a central signals and results area. Before starting the measurement, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. These are type of stamping, where you can choose between arms or legs, and duration, which is defined in seconds. To start with a measurement, click on the New Measurement button. After launching the test module and clicking New Measurement, initialization and offset takes place. During this time, the subject should not be on the force plate. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before starting with the measurements, the subject should assume an appropriate initial position that is standing with slight flexion in the knees and hips and with eyes directed forward. The goal of the task is to produce high-frequency stamping over a whole time interval. Initiate the measurement by clicking the Start button. The measurement stops automatically after completing the task. It can also be stopped manually by clicking the Stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on New Measurement, thus not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the ground reaction force of the whole task. The data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter name. Options for displaying specific sets of parameters can be accessed under the Parameters View menu in the right panel. For more information on this topic, please refer to Tutorial 7.